Hi, let's discuss bipolar disorder type 1. Maybe you have heard the term bipolar used to describe someone who, who is moody or who have mood swings, but this term is really different from bipolar disorder. As bipolar disorder, which is used to be called manic depression, is a serious mental illness that causes a person to have dramatic shifts in, uh, in, in emotions, in mood, in energy, and uh, moving from extremes, from lows to highs or to extreme highs but these shifts don't happen moment to moment they usually happen over several days or even weeks there are a few different types of bipolar disorders but there are some common features first the low moods are identical to those of related dis disorders like major depressive disorder and individuals with this can feel hopeless and discouraged, lack of energy and lack of mental focus or low concentration and can have physical symptoms like eating and sleeping too much or too little so extremes highs and extremes lows but along with these lows they the thing that sets bipolar disorder apart from unipolar is that individual or individuals can have periods of high moods which are called episodic uh, manic or hypomanic episodes okay so let's move on with some description in this way so depending on their level of severity in a manic state people can feel energetic overly happy or optimistic even euphoric with really high self-esteem so from low to highs a person experiencing mania might invest all of their money uh, in a risky business venture or behave recklessly individuals might might talk pressured speech where they talk constantly and at a rapid fire pace and they might have racing thoughts and might feel wired as if they don't need sleep manic episodes can also include delusions of grandeur for example they might believe that they are a person a person missing from god or that they have supernatural power and finally they might uh, make poor decision without any regard for later consequences what are difference between bipolar type 1 and type 2? To understand there are, there are uh, two types. A person with bipolar type 1 will experience a full manic episode while, by, while uh, bipolar type 2 will experience only hypomanic episodes. A person with bipolar type 1 will not experience major depressive episode I I instead of bipolar type uh, to which will experience major depressive episode definition we have touched uh, some of the points of definition but let's read it again a mood disturbance in which the patient typically experiences manic, uh, manic symptoms for at least one week or better to say one to two weeks at least that can cause significant distress or impairment and level of functioning comparing to previous functioning of the patient what are risk factors for bipolar disorder type 1 one set one set of age more than 30 year old uh, patient high socioeconomic status thus who did not finish college or at least attend college genetic linkage if uh, patient have uh, someone in in family with history of bipolar disorder coexisting disorders like anxiety alcohol dependence of drugs or substance related disorders 
symptoms on physical examination i can give you symptoms right from the book abnormal or persistently elevated mood lasting at least one week or two increased self-esteem uh, self-esteem and grandiosity distractibility excessive involvement in activity talkative passion psychomot or agitation flight of ideas increased activity so sexual activity or any type of activity increased uh, in increasing goal directed activity so all activities are increased and by physical examination usually patient could be within normal limits but you can uh, observe some psychomotor agitation and pressured speech and let's move on to the last slide which is also important as even so there is no cure for bipolar disorder identifying and treating individuals is really important since uh, there is a real danger that the person could harm themselves or even commit suicide and also could harm others who are around or close living one of the oldest treatment is also one of the most effective and that's lithium mood stabilizer and lithium uh, smoothing out uh, uh, the uh, things and uh, even even this uh, this type of lows and highs that uh, patient experience it is much better at treating manic rather than depressive episodes and so individuals who take it often have to take other medications as well which uh, can be problematic since some antidepressants like SSRIs can trigger manic episodes serotonin uh, selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors or uh, or people who are predisposed to these uh, manic episodes other treatment options include uh, benzodiazepines antipsychotics and uh, and individual psychotherapy or psychological intervention like talk therapy cognitive behavioral uh, therapy which are not considered particularly effective but are still used after some stabil st stabil uh, stabilization of the patient with lithium which is important but have narrow therapeutic range and you should be careful at giving it to patient also it is it produces renal in injury at uh, long term of administration and you should make a differential diagnosis between bipolar disease and others like schizophrenia which is patient with can have also uh, psychosis or flight of ideas can be very energic personality disorder uh, central nervous system infection or tumors hypo uh, hyper sorry hyperthyroidism which in which patient is hyperactive and medication medication as well thank you very much for your watching hope this video is useful for you if yes you can subscribe and follow the next lecturers enjoy life and study hard guys have a good time